Well, you know, the gimmick is so similar to um, what I what I seen when I seen the Canary Kid is I I seen Sean Waltman. I seen the Lightning Kid. If you seen Sean back in the day, like I did, um, in person, you know, for real, like when he first started, um, he was very similar to your style. You know, your styles are very, you know, he he and I were similar too in in, in a way. But I can see a lot of that in you though, that with what you're doing, only, you know, ten times that because the way wrestling's evolved now from back then is you know, quite a bit. I'm yeah, talking about the complexity of the matches and the moves and everything, you know. You know, that's one of the biggest compliments you can get to be compared to someone like Waltman. You know, he was, honestly, I've always been so interested in him because I always just knew, obviously I first heard of him from X-Pac. Mm-hmm. And I was always just associating him as that guy from DX. But then I took a second to look at his stuff and I was like, this guy's so ahead of his time. Yeah. Like the talent, agility, everything he had and how successful he got with, you know, being compared to, to the likes of the wrestlers at that time, you know, you had the Paul Orndorff, the Hulk Hogan's, the John Studs. Mm-hmm. I know he broke into it with the size he was in. It's just inspirational, to be honest. Right. You know, every everybody under 200 pounds has him to thank. Because yeah. if he didn't get over in this country, like he did with Razor Ramon, if that didn't happen, uh, we, we would still have to be over 225 pounds to be viable in this business. People say Lucha Libre, okay. look, that might have been right for Mexico, but even they weren't over in this country. It was Sean Waltman that really opened the door for the small guys. And, uh, oh, definitely. you know, so that's just, that's just the reality of it.